Uh, Canada. Have you included? Uh, well, you won't know yet until it freaking start. Has it come up? Yeah, it's asked for it to include the audio. Right. Right, waiting for players. Catalogical. Why are we now waiting for catalogical? Because he hasn't picked his tyres yet. I'll tell you what, if they opt to the restart again, I'm not streaming. Why am I now in a Williams? No idea. Well, are you in a Williams on a manor? I'm in a Mac McLaren, I think. <laughs> I've no idea. Ah, uh, so, hello again, guys. Yes, we're here again. Hopefully this is the only restart we're going to be having. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go through the title again. I'm sick to death of being running through that, so... I'm sure anybody wants to find out about the positions, it's in the dynamicracingleague.com website. Do visit that, because F1 and F2 are shown there. Also, where you can find out other races that we normally run and stream. So, And if you re want to rewatch all the races from the previous leagues and this league, you, do, you can even look at the website, dynamicracingleague.com, or go on to Dynamic Racing League on YouTube. Yeah, this stream's fine, mate. Is it working, is it? Aye. Very right, good. I shall try it again. So, sorry about that, folks. Hopefully this time we'll get past the five-minute left marker. Yeah, hasn't come up and told me there's anybody viewing. Like, it's not, yeah, I'm not getting that viewing thing at the bottom it normally comes up with. No, I'm waiting for... Right, <coughs> let's get on track and see who's out there. Yeah, I'm just on board uh, with uh, Callum Games, who's out on the well fast. Isn't, isn't that lucky that they've got no rain for Reese, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. Right, anyway, yes, I can see the stream's working fine, so... Ah. Hmm. And it's live. Uh, okay. So... Callum, did you mess up your lap? Or what? You're on the fast lap? And you stopped to let the Renault go through. Right. Okay. Either way, hopefully we get past qualifying this time, eh, Mr. J? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. It would be nice. See, this is a restart. I think maybe Stig should retire. Seems he didn't. He wasn't going to put a lap time yeah. in last time. Yeah, I don't know. It's alright, middle 44 has gone a uh, provisional pole. Right, let's get back to the actions. And third at the moment, oh, yeah, second cut through his new trout. Is uh, catalogical. Uh, did he better research? No, not really. Didn't do his first time. Poxix going down. 
and we've done it stuff. What did we get? Fourth place. In fifth place is the Stig with his uh, lucky. Oh, why did I have a restart? Even though I crashed out. Uh, there's Kick Ass Dragon. Beer and kebab, it's on the medium tyres. There's beer come out, is he? Uh, beer's out, yeah. He's on an outlap at the moment. He's uh, coming around turn three, I think. Or, uh, Callum Games has gone fifth at the moment for 123.44. Mm hmm. Uh, I see who's the fastest for the speed traps at the moment. And it happens to be Penguin. The 212 yeah, man he's trying fastest. around the track at the minute. Yeah, it's fastest for the speed traps. Uh, Miller is um, oh. I was uh, I was talking to Penguin before, before the race started, and uh, he did happen to mention Spain. Isn't exactly one of his favourites. It's not his strongest track. Oh, he's just pulled second on the provisional second on the on the grid at the moment. You get over there. Did you happen to make tea whilst we were on an intermission? No, didn't get a chance to. Right, anyway, let's get back to this. I seem to be getting distracted here a little bit. So, Mr. Stig, who's going to reprieve after piling that out in the first attempt of it, uh, you know what I mean? He yeah. decided to, to use his managerial for position and demanded a restart. Oh, he so wants to get another driver in, I suppose. Yeah, but that's the, what's the point of having a deadline to time and then, okay, 10 minutes into it, decide, oh right, the late come up, come in. I'm, I know I've got I've, I'm big pals with Chad and the rest of it, but if that had been a slot and F1, it would have been kicks off, kick offs. You know, and after Mr. Sticky saying, we don't have no restarts, so everything's fine with us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's your first black mark, Mr. Stig. Yeah, you do have restarts in F2. Don't be slagging off F1 again. Well, if it comes to it, mate, we can discuss it after the race. Yes, yes, I'm of course, yes. I don't want to, to get into politics of the, the game at the moment. Yes, well, I'm on board with Mr. Beer. He's on his uh, fast lap. Going around his third sector, coming on the home sector. straight now. And he has done a very respectful 123.1. Yeah, but that's only getting him six, so uh, he's not going to go for another. Uh, really, I should have. He's going to. He is going for another. He does seem to be going for another one, like. Now, interestingly enough, you know how you said there's a chance of no rain? Or yeah. he's saying there's no rain. Have you yeah. seen how much cloud was out there? Yeah, yeah, but, you know. There was going to be rain in the, the previous one, but... Uh, oh, yeah, lucky. very wise. Yeah, easy. I'll back out of that now. <coughs> oh, what is uh, Beast? I don't doing? think he has. Oh, yeah, he has. He definitely has now. Yeah. Penguin is uh, having another go. Oh, is he? No, no, he's backed off. He's big in his banana he car. Ninth is into the pits. Beast is gone wide on the final corner. Uh, Just started flying that. Beast, yeah, I'm on board the beast now. Let's see about his first sector time. He needs to be in the low 22s for his first sector time. 22 uh, two or 22 to three would be nice. He actually needs to be 22 1, really. Uh, as I'm seeing the low 22s anyway. And he's got a 22 1. A 22 1. <laughs> there you go. Exactly what he needs. And the second sector time. Uh, let me see. We're looking at. Uh, 30. Low. 29. High 29s. Mid 29s. Yeah. 
Oh, interestingly enough, the only person I haven't seen come out yet is Grim. I haven't seen yeah. Sprinter or Mambo yet, neither. Nope. Oh, um, Beast well, lost need a loss it. there. Yeah. That will cost him a, he's done a 30 flat. But I'm sure that's not going to be good enough. Oh, there's the freaking obvious teammate. There's Mambo. Can he pull something at the bag in the last sector? In the final corner, and there's Grim as well. Passes the Sticks line and takes a second place provisionally. And Very nice. Off. And Stiggy is on the flying lap. He's on the 22 1 first sector. What's his second sector? He's the high 29s. If he's gonna have any chance, I bet on his fifth place 29 7. So he's up for it. It's all about this last sector. Can he get it all together and keep it? And, uh, get yourself a bit of a pole position. Rim. And he coming around, final two corners, three corners. Where is Oh, a bit wide on the exit there from there. Can he keep it together? Across the line and it's going to put him in provisionally in third. He's got third. Uh, I'm just on board with Mambo, who's just started his first flying lap. He's on the medium tyres. Rising fifth, tyres is on fifth. the out lap. And that's uh, cut a lot for you. Yeah. quickest through the speed trap. Another 22 dead through the first sector. And uh, coming around to the final uh, set of corners in sector uh, 3. Oh, cutting corners. I mean, that was definitely in my books all four wheels off. But the game seems to let him off a bit, so what can we do? There's on strict. Uh, so second sector time is 29.9. Several through the second sector, but he is on the medium tyres, not on the softs. Kick ass dragon doing another try. Mambo's coming for trying. on the grid, and what can Mambo do? Here we are, this is his first lap, he hasn't come out. Uh, He's on for a good one though. 19, 20, He's on for 21, a very good one. And Straight takes pole. pole. Takes the pole. Mambo takes provisional pole. He's just coming in. Stig looks like he's coming in. Rising Trez is on a fast one. On a 22 2 in the first sector, so he's only a tenth down, I think. He's two tenths down on Mambo. 29 4 middle sector. Oh, definitely quick in the Mambo. Yeah, looking good, and he's on a now. good middle sector. Now, can he keep it together in the last sector? What can Rising Trez do? Can he do it? He's currently leading the championship. This is our current leader in the championship, so. He'll be wanting to stick that car on pole. He is on the soft tyres, so he will be coming in a little bit earlier than the medium tyre people. He will be. He might be able to. And yeah, he's on pole. he has. 122.3. Yep. Takes provisional pole. He is 600th of a second quicker. Oh, Catalogical beat Mambo as well. With a 121.4. Mambo's in third. Provisionally, of course. Right. So let's have a little look at the board. This is the board at the moment. A 21.3 by Rising Trez. Catalogical a 121.4. Mambo 121.9. 122 flat from Miller. And Beast is on a 122.1. Yeah, Mambo's coming. Biggs 122.193. Penguin. Mambo, what's that speed, buddy? You don't want to be getting yourself no group pace, penalty. Grim, beer, and. There's quite a mixture of tyres that you people are using in here, like I see that. Some have gone for the medium and some have gone for the soft. Yeah, um, I know I spoke to... Uh, Splinter hasn't gone out yet. Uh, well, I have my own reservations on that one. You'll need to go out or else you'll be starting behind me and you. Callum, I hope Callum was in the pits when he retired. Um. Uh, no, he nope, wasn't. he's on track. 
He's on track. Well, now. that's it. I'm sorry, but he retired on track. That is an instant uh, penalty going on to his next race. Now, did he that. retire on track, though, or did he crash? No, he retired. Right. Sorry, see. Callum. Games. Retired. On track. Right, I'll have to take note of that. Sorry to say, but that's a, it's a no-no. You do not retire on the track. You get the car back to the pits before you retire. Sorry to say, but that is going to cost him a penalty right. going on to his next race. Right, the sprint is out. Or I might even get a penalty for this race. He might get a grid penalty. So whatever he finishes oh, here, I might take a... a I have no idea what I'm going to do about that, but I'm going to uh, do something about it because you're not allowed to qu uh, retire on track during qualifying. That's a simple, simple rule. Uh, I wonder if Stig called the restart with his sprint as his teammate. Mm, and plus the fact he piled his car into the wall. <laughs> no, not, that had nothing to do with the decision. No. Uh, we're not going to get into politics. Right. Oh, Splinter's out on track, so... Yep, he is. His lap time is two minutes, though. Yeah, I don't think he's done the flyer yet. <laughs> so, I don't know, is this supposed to be flying, then? <laughs> uh... No, he's on a flying oh. lap now. I was gonna say. So. See what you can do. Yeah. Oh, his car's ghosting. Oh, he's done the one twenty-two nine. It's not the fastest. But LTK code zero. Oh my God! Take it a bit. Take it a bit seriously. What are you on about LTK code zero? What do you mean take something seriously? It's league racing, son. That's how we do it. It's not one of these little uh, little bunny hop hopper sessions, you know. We're in, we're in a league race. Yes, there has to be a serious side. It is about fun, but there is a serious side to it. So I'm sorry that you think it's a bit serious, but if you don't like it, don't watch it. Ta-da! silly comments like that. I don't think, well, the sprinter, he's on to set himself an all his time. It's not going to be the quickest, but it's a time nonetheless. He's going to get maybe a 124, 124, uh, yeah, 124.8. Uh, he's got self 12. Well, it looks like qualifying is over. Miller has gone on pole by the looks of it. Yep, Miller is on pole provisionally at the moment. I can't get onto any other cars at the moment because it wouldn't let me. Well, there we go. There's racing trays. What are we waiting for? Just trays to come in now, are we? Well, I'm sorry, LTK, but Beast hasn't made pole. Oh, Miller has. Yes. Oh, he has. 44. No, Rising Trez has. There you go. And I think that is qualifying over. Yes, it is. Rising Trez, a current leader in the championship, is on pole. Very oh, good. Yeah, very nice. That far, not nothing. <sighs> very good. Very good. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. It was going on in the feed. Let's see what's happening. Uh, uh, he's let me down. 
LTK code zero, is let, he says that uh, Beast has let him down. Hmm. Strange. Ooh, I wonder if he's a fan of the Beastie. Yeah. Ooh. I have no idea. But, in the meantime, I'm sorry folks, but I'm going to have to drain the python and I'm going to put the kettle on before the race. Woohoo! So I'll be back. I'll, uh, you hand it time. I'll hand this over to my uh, co-commentator. So, yeah, we're just flipping through the colours. I take it you know beast then, yeah? Sorry viewers, all you can see at the minute is the game flipping through the cars. This is something Codemasters needs to fix, and they are yet to do so. What happens? Uh, it's done. It's done. It's yeah. done. It's done. It's done. Yeah, oh, look at that rising trez. Come rising trez by five hundred of a second. second. Uh, by five hundred of a second. Miller second. Sorry, OTK. Patrol's go third. Mambo's in fourth. Beast fifth. Stig sixth. Penguin seventh. Grimm's in eighth. Beers managed to get ninth. Callum Games is in tenth. Poxy is eleventh. Uh, CND Splinter is in 12, and coming up the back end is Mr. Kickass Dragon. Well, so. Beast, I don't know, well, you shouldn't be hearing this, but if you are, you have let your biggest fan down. Yes, your biggest fan has just come on the stream, and he's not happy because he didn't get pulled. He's not happy. He's gonna get his machete. <laughs> right, guys and girls. Uh, race time. Just gonna. This is where the intermission period, where drivers decide what tyres they're gonna run. No, it's strategy. Well, not tyres. It's just strategy. You know, when they're gonna pit, how much fuel they're gonna put on board, all that sort of thing. And go and make a cup of tea. Go and use <laughs> the lavatories. Yeah, which is what I'm doing. Making a cup of tea. Gotta wet the whistle. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure the volume. Yeah, you better make it now because if it's um, anything like the last few weeks, you won't be yeah. getting off first and second. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, LTK says he's a big fan. Yeah. Okay, Beastie, you've got a fan who's watching you and he wants you to do well. And you might have no fans after this if you let him down. Yes. <laughs> 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 He'll not be your friend. So, soon we will be starting soon, boys and girls. I'm sure we will be seeing. Um, so, what are we doing after this formation? Are we put it into the wall? Well, I don't know what to do because we tried that before and it still fetches the safety car. So, I'm thinking there's nobody behind us. If we reverse on the track, it should instantly. Can't do it. You know, Can't do that because it'll pull the safety car again. But even if you revert, if you get disqualified. Yeah. So, there's nothing we can do. They, said they think it, it, the, the way Codemasters have programmed the game, it thinks it's an incident on track. So, there's nothing I can do? There's nothing no, we can we do gotta at have all. To, we're going to have to pull off and then instantly, within about 30 seconds, or 2 seconds, be on the retirement. If the safety car comes out, it comes out. Well, there's nothing we can do, we but it, I've, we've tried all kinds of ways to do this. This is what happens. Well, going. The safety car is a problem. The safety car. I mean, when it works, problem. it w go beast, it works. Go beast. All right, LTK. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> it will. I'm, I'm sure, sure he will, he will. Do, do his best. Obviously, LTK. If you want to catch up with any other races, beast is involved with, go and check him out on the website, dynamicracingd.com, or go on the YouTube channel, and you'll be able to watch all of his other races, triumphs. Not right, so many triumphs. There's a formation lap, so we'll just get out of the way once uh, they all pull away. Yeah, why are you in the McLaren? 
I have no idea. I just left it blank so ever ever spare cars right. Oh, I think somebody there's been a bit of a pile up up front. So let's take They're a chance. beast. <laughs> oh, looks like there's your beast son. He is stuck <laughs> on the line because he's touched somebody. Don't forget, Mr. Shag, let him get ahead of it first, buddy. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. He's gonna. This McLaren sounds crap. It really does. It drives like crap and it sounds crap. Hey, don't give me like my McLaren. I think it's brilliant. Listen to this engine. Yeah, Sounds like a hairdryer. Sounds like a hairdryer. So I wonder what happened to Mr. Beast then. Who did he have a collision with or didn't he start? <laughs> I have no idea. Doing kebab, he's just uh, busy having his beer and his kebab while he's going around about the things. He does like to take his time. Look at that beautiful clear sky. If we didn't restart, it would have been raining. Yes, now normally what happens because the safety car's on, we'll uh, retire, but uh, if somebody in the game decides we need to save the car. So, don't blame Well, us the only thing I can think that we do is we pull off track and retire as we normally would. Well, that's it, there's nothing else we can do. That's what I do every week, and it still fetches the, the safety car, so I don't see what sticks going on about pull over to the side of the road and retire, because it won't do well, it. Well, well looks like folks, we're all gonna go. I'll try and get to the front of the pack as soon as possible, find out what's going on. Let them get away. I'm sorry, the minute we put out to right. retire, it it flipping thingies it. Yeah. Safety car. Sa safety car. As soon as I pull over to the side, it goes back onto the track and then retires. There's nothing I can do about it. This is what I'm telling no. Stick. It's no point to have the safety they car. They need to run not the safety car. See, I've been saying this for ages, but Stig won't have it. There's no other way of starting this. How am I supposed to do it? You've seen how long I took care to retire. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. They did it to me, mate. I pulled off. You watched me. You saw me. I was as far off that track as possible. So, they're going to start behind the safety car, again! Because Stig is so determined, he's going to have the safety car on, even though we all know it's broken! We cannot you run that safety car. can't retire, because it will affect the safety car, right? You can't reverse, because it will affect the safety car, right? You can't do anything at the start, if you're going to be streaming, because it will affect the safety car, right? This is what I'm be telling them, but no, no. He won't listen. Never listens to the sh shag like. Nobody ever listens to the shag. So. Well, it looks like that. it's going to be five laps of the safety car. Yep. Yeah. Safety car again. There's nothing I can do. You can't seem to get through this fixed skull. That it's nothing we're doing anything wrong. As soon as we pause the game to go to retire, it fetches the safety car out. Regardless of where we park the car. If we park the car off the road or leave the car on the road. It will fetch the safety car out. The minute you, so when you pause it, the minute you pause it, it's when yeah. it fixes it into ghost mode, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, it goes ghost mode, and it doesn't retire. Uh, even if I try, have you seen how fast it's trying to retire there? It just makes no difference. So. Yeah, Shag, your mic's going funny, buddy. Oh, really? That'll be it now. Is that working better? No, not really. 
Oh, fuck. Microsoft crap. <laughs> right, is that any better? Hopefully. Hello? Yeah. Maybe I can do it me. They can't run the safety car. That we can't run the safety car until after the patch. Then we fix it. Right, let's have a little look down the field. Uh, it's pretty much the same second. way. Everybody's in the same place. Uh, Catalogical in third. Uh, we've got Mamble in fourth. Beast, there's Beast in fifth. Uh, nah, you might scared again, buddy. No, there's nothing I can do about it. My soul is knackered, my freaking headset is knackered, nothing I can do with it. <coughs> I'll try to reset my other controller. So Sorry about this guys, you're going to have to live with a safety car. No matter what we do on the track this narrow, we cannot avoid the safety car coming off. If we don't start, the safety car will come out. If we yep. retire and pull off the track, the safety guard comes out. If we go into the drive up to the pit lane and go into the pit lane for the safety guard, it comes out. We reverse to get disqualified, the safety guard comes out. Right, and uh, the penguins in seventh. Is my mic any better now? It is. Right. There we go. Grim is in ninth. Splinter's in tenth. Uh, Callum Games is in 11 and kick ass drag in as well. What the hell's going on here? Poxy. Poxy. Oh, they're getting a bit close. Why is Poxy way over uh, back there? Right, let's see, I'm about to uh, go and take the, the, the bike and have to do that one. I don't think they're getting the grip to leave enough space behind that safety car. The front five are very, very close together. Why are you going into this view for? I don't want this view. That's not what I want. Get a car view. Well done, Codemasters. God on me. Right, so the first. Three laps, I'm going to be done then, we saved the car. Four, there's one more. Try to tell them that they not listen, Stiggy just always they, seems to know best. They can't run the safety car. I am not doing it if they run the safety car. Yeah, I'm doing it again. Until the, the game's patched. Until they fix the problem. There's no point. Stig can't understand that. But anyway, I'm not going to sit and grumble and groan about it all the time. It's the, uh, their race is getting knackered up. Not mine. Because guess what? On our race on the Sunday night, we don't run the safety car. For this reason, exactly. Simple. Got a cup of tea. See the race will be starting any second now again. Right. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, honestly, Shag, as much as I'd like to sit there talking to you, buddy, I am not doing this again because all this is now going to be is yeah, we're going to get moaned at. I agree. Wayne Hammers has put on there that, you know, Stick never learns. Yeah, exactly my point. But, okay, so here's what I was told. Yeah, when I joined the party earlier on, Stick was on about us missing the first, not streaming the first lap of the race and joining after the first lap. What? Is he... is he for real? Which, again, is gonna pull the safety... Well, it won't pull the safety car. But it'll lag the room out. Why can't you just not run with the safety car until it's fixed? I mean, what's the problem? I don't know, I'm not... 
and then tries to do this and he just needs to just stop getting on his high horse all the time. But anyway, not bitch about Stiggy. Right, looks like the race is off. We're all go, rock and roll. And Miller took advantage of that and he's managed to slip into first place. Or has he? Come up to the first corner, turn one. Oh, and Miller has took first place. Yes. I hope to God they're all careful. Obviously, then, is there? a collision now will bring that safety car back out again. Yeah. Bit of a hard fight here. Oh, you need to Ooh, beer! That, that worked very, uh, very close all through that corner. And coming down to Mabergor. The race is definitely off. We're on the way, and Miller 44 takes the lead. Have a quick trip down the field just to see who's uh, where. Uh, and right, there's so uh, I'll run this right route for me. Second, uh, Catalogical is in third. And fourth is Mambo. Fifth is Beast. There's Beastie there. Oh, oh nearly oh. takes the back end of the Mambo. He's lucky there. Oh, Mambo is all over the place at the moment, mate. Your headset's going funny as hell, matey. Oh, there's nothing I can do about it, kid. There's nothing I can do about it. This is the way it is. I'm tired of it. We need to not run the safety car. Right, hopefully that might sort out. Am I making any better now? Yeah, it, start, it stays fine, and then after about half, of, about 10, 15 minutes, it goes funny again. Uh, it's my controller, mate. My controller is, I've had it since day one when I bought the Xbox, and that's over two years ago, so the controller is two over two years old, the headset's over two years old, so you know. I'm actually quite surprised it's lasted this long with Microsoft because they don't exactly make durable uh, uh, things for their uh, their games, their console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember the word I'm looking for. Nope, <laughs> I ain't even gonna bother saying it. Uh, Stiggy is in uh, uh, six. Oh. Let's try and get some reaction. There is the action. Oh, there's Grim. Let's get on board with Grim. Looks like he's going to have a go with beer. Beer and Grim are having a good old battle here. We'll stay on board with these two for a second. Let's see what's going on here. We'll get a wide view. See what's going on. Grim and Beer. Obviously, teammates here. They're really pushing the, the limits. Yeah. And I'm sure Christian Horn is sitting there biting his nails, thinking, oh my god, I can see a crack here. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice view this. Beautiful camera view from the chopper. Very nice, very good, very nice. I like that. That's very good. And Grim trying to stick there. Ah, he changed his mind. He says, no, there's no point there. And he stays behind for, looks like, another lap. He is holding on to his 8th uh, place. Uh, what's it like up front? Is there any change up front? Or is it, um, no, mate. It's uh, Trez in first, Minders in second. Oh, Miller goes back to second, so nope. took his first place. Back. Yeah, Tracer's in first, Miller's in second, Catalogical is still... No, Ma Ooh. Mambo's third. Yeah, Mambo's third, is he? Beast fourth. Beast is in fourth, so Catalogical's fifth place. in the Ferrari. Stick to tick for now, Catalogical has got DRS. Wasn't quite quick enough to catch up to Beast. Grim trying everything to get past. Look how close he is to his teammate there. Yeah. Oh, it's not Wayne Hammer. Haha, <laughs> it's Wayne Griffiths. Sorry, Wayne. <laughs> get mixed up again. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting. Venoms, what's your take on that one, buddy? Wayne's. Oh, here we go. I think uh, Grim's going to have a go here because he's got DRS. Come down to the turn one. Oh, pulls over to oh. the left. Good, takes the inside line. And yes, takes that, takes that place off the rear. 
Mabo's taken nice serve. Move. Uh, nice second move. even. Nice move by Grimmy Boy. Right, we'll leave that now. We'll get on board with some. Mabo has taken second. You'd have been biting your nails on how we took second. Very, oh, very good right, racing. Let's go to the front line then. Let's get to the front line. 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 Let's get Mambo. Exactly, Wayne. We we've said this to him. Oh, the ferry went he, wider he doesn't, there. He hasn't listened, Wayne. He really hasn't. Ben yes, just put, I know. It has not yes, worked for I three weeks. Why use it? I totally agree with you, my son. But you can't tell Stig nothing, son. He always knows the best. He is uh, He is like. I'm not gonna see it. Tell you what, I tell you what we do, right? Stick, he should go in and lobby. Oh, Grim cutting that corner there, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna stay on board with the front three, four, five cars. Now, front here. Oh, all going to turn one. Here we go. What Stig needs to do. Oh, beer, very, very good pass. He's the DRS down that straight. Has he passed the Grim, has he? He has. Ah, them two are going to have a ding dong bow for this place, I think. <laughs> oh, Grim's got a bit wide there. I'm, I'm sticking on board with it. There's four cars here, all trying to lead here, so... I don't want to really leave the action at the front at the moment. If you keep an eye on that battle between yeah. Grim and here. Oh, I am. I am, definitely. These two are showing them how it's actually done. Oh, very good on the brakes there, Grim. Oh, Somebody get caught up in the beast of three, we can probably straight into the back of you. Oh, look how close that was there. Yeah. No, oh, Grim might have him on DRS. Has he got the legs? No, he hasn't. Anybody can Guys take this here. Anybody can take oh. this race here at the moment. There's nobody pulling away. Four well, cars here. Oh, oh. Mambo a bit wide on the next day. He's gonna have. Yep. He's gonna have uh, Miller all over him. Now, Grim's gonna oh, have DRS down the home stretch. Go. Is he gonna use oh, it? He's got it open. Oh, there was contact there. Mambo and Fez uh, had a bit of a touch there, but Mambo managed to take the lead. Oh, when he makes his stick, he has. Grim has yeah. passed beer. Yeah, Grim has passed beer. All the time here. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, beer's just taking Grim again. <laughs> Grim went wide on, in the exit to the second corner, and beer has leapfrogged him again. Grim, oh, you're giving you, putting yourself under a loss of pressure there, buddy. Yeah, I'm too busy watching this front line. It's at all pretty close up. Yeah. Kick our Dragons oh. moved himself up to 11th. Does he now? Yeah. Sprint is in 13th. Callum Games is in 12th. Fox yeah. is in 10th. Then Knights we have Grim. 8th is Beer and Kebab. 7th is Mr. Penguin. Who's catching up to 6th is Darrell I'm the Stig. 5th is Catalogical. 4th is Beastie. 3rd is Miller. Second is Trez, ah. and first is obviously Mambo. Oh, is that about to change? Oh, here we go. Start finish three, and DRS open. Mambo's going to go. Trez going to come up the inside. Make a move. Oh, and Miller's oh, followed him. Uh, and... Oh! <laughs> close battling going on there, like, between first, second and third, like... <coughs> so, and third, Miller, 34. So Trez is now taking up his lead again, Mambo, and then... And then Beast is just hanging on there, he's waiting, he's like a flame mantis, he's waiting for these three to have an accident in front, and I'm sure he'll lap it up, oh Mr. Beast, lap it up. What a good old battle here for first, second, third and fourth, like, I don't want to leave these two, these four here because it's pretty close. Um, well, I've decided... What we need to do. It's my mate's What I least okay, think we it? need to do. 
Uh, it's a bit. It went and now it's come back again. Uh, I need a new controller and a headset. Well, maybe just a new controller. Oh, be went wide there. Oh, rim. Don't forget, mate. There is a car in front of you. It's your teammate, buddy. Oh, here we go. And I think Mambo's going to be under pressure here. Yeah, it's going to be under pressure. The Miller 44. Oh, all three coming up. All DRS is open there. Oh, and Mambo takes first place again. Oh, what Grimm's got past the beer. Grimm's in seventh. What? Yeah. Don't be lost. Yeah. Something gone already. Well, Grimm's in seventh, so. Stig's in sixth, Penguin's in fifth. There's a good old battle here for first, second, third, and fourth league. It's swapping at every lap. He just, uh, the swivers in the lead just cannot make a break. Get out that second gap. Oh! Looks like a Mercedes getting out of shape at the back there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Mambo is starting to. He's getting a couple of car lengths. Is it enough though to make a break? Because these guys will have DRS. Oh, somebody's in the pits. Mambo carries on. And uh, there we go. Uh, there's a lot of people in the pits here. <coughs> oh, Grim is pulled up to fourth. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, because there's a few cars going into the pits. Catalogical is going to take that position there. East come out in 8th place. Stiggs come out in ninth. Kick-Ass Dragon still out there in the left. And uh, oh, Callum James is off the track. Callum James, I don't know what's going on with him. He's completely off the track. And the last turn, he's having a nightmare. Yeah, the Sprinter is in 13. Right, Mambo is currently our leader. And he's got Miller 44, hunting him down. Uh, DRL Penguin is in third. Grim is in fourth. Grim has up a bit of a gaff on beer and kebab yeah, now. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, beer is uh, quite happy in fifth though. He's not a grumble like that at the moment. Rising says he's in six, he's got corner, it's catalogical all over his gearbox. Oh, it looks like uh, he could be having a go, or is he? Oh, snap that a go here in Rising Threads. Oh, he's got a DRS, makes a move, and quite easily passes. But we've got a guy coming out, another 44, just coming out the pits. Rising Threads and Miller 44. So it's like deja vu. That's what it was before. <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah, we need yeah. to. Uh, Obviously, the front runners are still need to come in the pits, like so. Uh, Kick Ass Dragons in the pits. Callum Games is carrying on. Mint is still there. Mambo. Our leader at the moment on lap 14, so he's done 14 laps on his tyres, so I'm expecting him to come in on uh, this lap or the next probably uh, to make that pit stop. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, no, he stayed out again, he's gone for another lap. Oh, Baron Kravt up in fourth, does that mean Grimm's paid? Uh, Grimm's in third. Grimm's in third? Yes. Penguin in second. I think uh, all the front runners are pitting then. 
Uh, all the front lines have pitted and uh, these guys haven't. Oh, there's a bit of a battle going on here though. Team Rising says. Alright, alright. Oh, Miller 44 and Rising says. Having a battle with the Ferrari there. to real action going on here. Beast looking like it's quite tasty there. Oh, Beast goes to the inside line. And does he make a stick? He does indeed. Rising Threads is going behind. So Beast is taking seventh. Catalogical is the uh, one that's the cork and oh and that Miller 44 got it all wrong there through the chicane at the end there. And then he collected the uh, two cars behind him as well. Stig's down in ninth, Treads in eighth, Beast in seventh, Beast just Beast, taking Beast, Miller. And Beast has uh, taken up Miller's position. board with Mr. Beastie here. I'm sure his number one fan will be sitting jumping up and down saying Woo! Go Beastie go! Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, LTK says I taught Beast everything he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask him that. Uh, well, we'll have to ask him that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See what kind of response we get from him there, LTK. Well, after getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm a tired NTC Silver today. You're a tired NTC Silver, are you? Ah. Right, well, I'm going to assume some people have come into the pits by now, the front runners, so it's going to be back to these boys. Beast hanging in today, he's been hanging on to his sixth place at the moment, but obviously DRS wide open there, coming down the straight. Is he gonna have a go on the catalogical coming to the turn one? Yeah, he certainly is. And oh he takes it and he does he keep it? He does indeed. Oh does he? Catalogical trying to come up the inside again. Still there, still there, but nope, he's had to back out. Good driving there by these three. Oh and he's that behind me. Rising threads. Beast seems to be uh, getting a bit between his teeth and he's going to try and make a gap now on these two cars behind. Oh, Mambo, our race leader, is coming around to lap somebody. He is. Has he still not been in the pits he's yet? Lap kick ass. Nope. Ah, he's made them tyres last 17 laps, you know. He's uh, stayed out again, mate. <laughs> and he's gone for another one. Oh, catalogical and it wrong there, and he's been passed by Trez. So that's up the door up now for Trez to try and cut it. Right, let's put uh, it this way. Right. The front four haven't pitted. 17 laps. That's, that's pretty good, like. That's pretty, pretty good. But then again, I think they start on the medium tyres anyway, so. The, yeah, the yeah, which the means he down. hasn't got a swap to the other compound. No. Well, yeah, they've got still got to use, they've still got to use a set of uh, soft because uh, the mediums are the uh, primary tyres and the softs are the option. So he has to run a set of softs at some point during the race. Well, if he's got his head on, he might do two really, really long stints on the mediums. 
Wait, let's have a little look down the field. Uh, let's see. Adam runs off right front. at the end. Uh, we'll get to the front runner, yeah. Mr. Mambo, still on them. Nice set of medium tyres, which he's done 18 laps now on, and qualifying. Don't forget, and qualifying. Yeah, but he only did one lap on qualifying. Yeah, uh, I think he's gonna probably. Ooh. Yeah, he's coming up to lap somebody else. Oh, and he's gone for another lap. Hey, he's really pushing them tyres. Penguin. He's got kick ass dragon. Just move that away. Uh, and kick ass dragon. Moves out the way for uh, Penguin. In second place. Green. Yeah, that's the second time Green he's been third. lapped, right? And we've got Mr. Beard and Bob. Get you it in fourth. Uh, Beast is in fifth. And we've got Miller 44. Uh, Beast takes the defensive line going into turn one. And uh, maintains that uh, place that has he. It seems like uh, Miller 44 is. Uh, uh, lost traction coming out of there. So we're going there, and then we've got the catalogical in seventh. Rising Trails seems to be stuck behind them at the moment. You can't see the right, past the sprinter is now being blue flagged. He has to get out of Mambo's way. Sprinter? Is he getting blue flagged, is he? He is. So I'd like to think, Chad, you're going to let Mambo through on the next. You are. Good, very good there. Thank you very much. Rising players, our current world champion, our current uh, season champion so far. Mambo stayed out again. Uh, season leader, so he's not season champion, he's a season leader at the moment. 20 he's leading, uh, laps. He's only leading by two points though. So he needs to be fucking getting better position on this. He's going to continue his lead. Stig is in now ninth. Check. Does Mambo run using race using a wheel? I have no idea, my friend. Oh, Callum Games is really struggling here in 11th place. Uh, CMB Sprinter is in 12th. And Kickass Dragon is uh, There's Mambo there. Now, I can't work out if Mambo is even going slower or if Sprinter is going quicker. It's almost nice. like he's trying to catch up to Mambo. I they're definitely looking that front left, I know it takes a hammer into this track, so I'm keeping an eye on that front left. Is it going to pop, or is it going to is it gonna go for another lap, or is he going to come in on this one? Stay on board the map, yeah, so. what he's going to do. He's done 20 laps plus one qualifying lap, in and out lap as well. He's staying. Uh, yeah, oh no, he's coming, he's coming in. Yeah, he's coming in. Yep, yep. Slow so down, man, bro. 130 miles an hour in that pit lane. <laughs> right, and um, obviously that's going to promote Penguin into first place, but he's done a lot more tire laps on these tires. So, Penguin. No, I think now Penguin now. used two sets of tires. One of the Red Bulls is coming in. Yep, uh, there's Mamma coming out on the set of medium tires again. Uh, Groom's in. And I believe that's uh right, so currently Penguin is our Oh Beer and Kebab came in and put softs on. Has he? Ah. Mm. Ah. Going for a short middle stint. Uh Mambo second. Kick ass dragon, obviously get lap here. I'm sure Kickass will do. Get out the way, because he just made the exit. Nice move there. Gets out the way. Oh, Miller 44 and Beast. Oh, we'll stay on board with Miller and Beast. And oh, Kickass gets right out of the way there. Gets up the way. <laughs> does some Colin McCree. Kind of game, so they have uh, six seconds worth of penalties. Okay, so just have a look at the race director. Yeah, any penalties? There was a collision on lap two. 
Yeah, I'm up to under the safety car. Hey? That was under the safety car then. Yep. Between Callum and Poxic, there was a collision on lap four between Grimm and Sprinter. Oh. Um, and then oh, Callum and everybody up in the side. Miller 44 and Catalogico takes third place off the Miller 44. Right, Deep so still clinging on to had the second place. So Sprinter's had three seconds. Callum has had three. Penguins had three. Callum's had oh, six. Looks like they fixed the, the glowing brakes problem. Well, tell you what you also need to fix, Code Masters, it's very simple. It starts with an S, ends with a, with a second word beginning with a C. It's a Mercedes. Yeah, it's called the safety car. Oh, Grim nearly went into the back of Stig. Did he? Oh, very nearly. Grim is definitely the fastest car at the minute. Well, we That's know what happened lot, the last time these two were going like this. Let's get on board with Grim. Oh, yeah, I see this. Grim and Stiggy. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Stiggy's going back down inside. Oh. He's let him off. Be careful here, Stig, please, for the love of God. Grim takes seven place off of the Stig. Penguins in sixth, Miller's in fifth, Miller, Trez and Catalogical, third, fourth and fifth are very close together. More than rising Trez here. Behind Catalogical, trying to make a move here. Catalogical pushing everywhere. Right, what colour kind of compound um, is the red one this time? Uh, I'm not too sure. I believe the. Could be the hard. Like the hard? I'm not too sure. But I'm sure there is another you know, yellow one that was soft. So I'm not too sure. Couldn't tell you. Uh, LTK says I might have to come out of retirement and show Beast how it's done. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I'm sure you will, LTK. I'm sure you will. Oh! Oh. Penguin and Trez can get close there. Now come on Ninja, B8. Oh he goes to the inside line and oh, pushing the limits there. Woo. Oh and he goes to the inside again. line. And of course he's got uh, Miller 44 hanging in the back of that in that group as well. Oh, he's gone wide. Here we go, this is it. Rising Trez is going to get... Oh, and he Ooh. goes to the inside line. Oh. I think he's done it. No, he hasn't. He's given the position back. I think he kind of pushed him off there. The being supposed to like Ninja is, give the position back. <laughs> you know how much he hates just calling him a ninja, right? <laughs> uh, are they the super soft so, so they are the super soft so. no, no, you don't get the super soft. There's only soft, medium, hard. You don't hard. get super softs. You don't get super soft the LTK. You only get medium, hard, and soft. The super softs are not at this track. Oh, here we go, rising trades. And oh, ninja trying to come inside of the uh, Miller 44. I don't think Miller 44 has managed to take it off from Penguin. It has indeed. 
Well, LTK, you'll be glad to know it's a current force India 1 2, which means Beast is in second. Yeah, get as much touch as you can, kid. You're more than welcome. That goes to anybody that's watching this feed. You're welcome to, if you think you've got what it takes to become a DRL racing driver, feel free to apply a website at dynamicracingleague.com and one of our admins will get in touch with you and take it for a big test drive, you know, see what they like. CND Splinter has left the session. Oh dear. Oh, which means he will now be a ghost car, unless he's had uh, this connection and he's been trying to come back in. But I'm looking at uh, his car now, it is a ghost on the track. It's a ghost trez, you can go through it. Don't worry about it. I think he wants to be safe. Yeah. Because obviously if he goes to go through it and sprint it joins that car is going to become very, very hold, very, very hard, really, really oh, fast. No, that's it, he's gone through them this time. I wonder what's happened to Splinter. I wonder what has happened to Splinter. I'm hoping he's going to try and join back in. And because on this game, you can see me he can jump back in if he needs connection. Right, let's grab a little down the field. Let's see if we get to the front on uh There's Mambo is currently our leader. A substantial lead by the things at the moment. He's currently 7.6 seconds ahead of uh, Beast in second. Beast in second. I bet you're liking that, Mr. LTK. Your hero is in second. <laughs> 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 Uh, Catalogical is in third, he's got uh, Rising Threads, Hunting and Down in fourth. We've got Penguin currently in fifth position, who is getting chased down by Mr. Grimm. Grimm, 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 Grimm. And in seventh place, Mr. Bavir and Kebab, so sixth and seventh place for the Red Bulls at the moment. Uh, uh, Stiggy is in eighth place. Banana car. Miller 44 is in ninth. Who's that pulling over to the right? Callum Games, just getting out of the way. He's had a case today at this track. He's really struggling. Yeah. Tenth is Poxic. Poxic there. And then a uh, nice little Mercedes. CND Splinter, who's uh, a ghosty car at the moment. Uh, Callum Games is in 12th. And Kickass Dragon is coming in 13th. So, they're pretty much spread out at the moment. Nobody's really anywhere clear to uh, close to anybody. And it's our current leader, Mr. Mambo. near him at the moment. He's second place. He's uh, nine seconds now, so he's fallen back. He's lost another two seconds in the uh, uh, past couple of laps. Catalogical. Oh, he's having a battle there with uh, Rising Threads. He's taking third place of him. Racing Trez is on a different set of tyres. I'm here by the way mate, I'm just on the phone. Right, right, no worries. Uh, fifth place is Penguin. Looks like he's catching these two up there and got Grim. Who's slowly reeling in the Penguin? Let's stay on board with Mr. Grim and see what he does here. See if he can make a, a move on Penguin. He does have DRS in the second DRS one. The tight left hander. Mm -hmm. 
stay with him here, coming through this tricky section here, he'll have a gear lift and then start finish tape, which should make uh, Oh, he's definitely going to have the penguin here. He's got a DRS. Coming down the start finish straight. Look at the straight line speed of that Mercedes though. And penguin has been pretty easy. Yeah, it's been, oh no, it's not. Stop fighting there. Uh, still okay. Oh, Grim. Oh, Grim gets a bit tight on there. Oh, and the penguin takes that position back. Good old battle between penguin and uh, Grim here. We'll stay on board with this action at the moment. Seems to be the closest battle at the moment in the, in the field. Oh, he's going to have them DRS zone coming up to the second DRS zone now. Can he stay with him coming over the, over the hill? He's going to have DRS, can he make a move coming into the tight left down there? Nope, not on this occasion. Probably going to buy his time to get him under DRS again on the start finish straight, I would assume. Oh, oh Grim taking a bit of a shortcut there, but... Hopefully he won't be penalised for that. He's a bit far back to have a go here maybe. Is he? No, oh, he's got the DRS open. Start finish straight. He don't think he's close enough to have a go here on this occasion. Nope. Too far back on that one. <laughs> uh, LTK says the sprinter has to keep the teenage mutant ninja has to help the, the teenage mutant ninja turtles. Yes. Alright, coming in. Oh, come up the hill. Penguin. Oh, oh, struggling. By looks things, he's really struggling on them tyres. Of course, Grim's on the, the yellow wall tire, which is, I think it's the soft tire. It's it is red. soft. Yeah. There's more grip, it needs to get past the penguin to make them count. Oh, that's a better, he's got better, uh, better through the Tricky chicane at the end, he's going to have DRS, he's going to be enough there to get there and then start finish straight. Oh, he's close enough here, he's going to go for the inside move. And as he makes a stick, is Penguin going to come back at him? No, looks like he's made it stick on this time, and he does. He does indeed. Uh, and that puts um, in fourth place for the Grimmy Boy. He got disqualified in the last race, so I'm sure he doesn't want that to happen this time. He's doing really good. And he's now hunting down Rising Threads. It's not Rising Threads, it's in front of him. That looks like it's a back marker. Probably Callum Games. No, it's Kick-Ass Dragon. I'm sure Kick-Ass just gets out of his way, uh, as he does. Yep, I think he's uh, more solidified at that uh, position. Right, let's get back to the front and see who's... Mambo. Mambo, I'm leader. And he's got rising flares and hunt him down. He's currently 14 seconds behind him. Uh, Grim is in third position with uh, Penguin in fourth. Oh, and Grim gets it all wrong there. Didn't cost him too much. Oh, 
and the PM. Oh, them softs are starting to really hurt on Glenn's car now. And I think Penguin's going to have another shot of trying to get by his third pace back. Straight line speed of that Mercedes. Doing a lot better than that Red Bull. Beastie's been in the pitch. Beastie's in the pitch, too, is he? Beastie's in the pitch. No, he's, he's been in, he's back out in six now. He's got his hard compound on. He's got the hard on. Uh, right. So he's uh, 33 Watch laps to go. Watch your language there, Shaq. 33 laps to go. Kick him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Can't help it sometimes. Excitement, excitement at the moment. Like the safety car. Yeah, the bad quite happy coming along there in fifth place. Have a good race there on the softs. Uh, beast. There he is. He's on reds. You see the reds are the hards, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. White to uh, the mediums and no, 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 no. Yeah, 44, 8 Sticky and his uh, yellow submarine is in 9 Foxic currently in 10 Splinter uh, is still a ghost, obviously he's not going to get cleared. I think he's, uh, he's giving up. Yes, the cars are supposed to be on equal performance, but as we have realised, there's a patch coming out, the 1.7 patch, which is going to equalise the gearboxes, because even though the engines are equalised, the gearboxes are not. So, as we all know, the gearbox on a Red Bull is a heck of a lot different to what it is in Mercedes. Why? Mercedes is faster than a straight line, a more top end. But uh, there's a patch coming out very soon, which is going to solve that problem. And hopefully, there'll be more equal. Because at the moment, equal is not equal. Um, Carl James in 12. He just drives the first. Campbell still our current leader. Having a great race with Mr. Campbell. Having a really good race. Uh, Rising says in second place. And also a very good race. Then, as decided, he's had enough of them options and uh, soft. And he's now coming in the pits and he's gonna make a change. Let's see what tires he's going. 34, so it's 32 laps, 31 laps to go. Is he gonna set a set of white tires on, which is the mediums? He's gonna make a set of mediums. Uh, let's get back up there. Rising Trez now in second place. Uh, we've got Penguin who's in third. Of course, this is all preliminary because there is guys, and some guys are going to have to come in and make a pit stop anytime soon. Ian Kebab still on them set of soft tyres, and he's currently in fourth place. Uh, Beast who's in the red tyres, which are, I think are the hard. Tires and it's in fifth place. 
all by himself at the moment. Catalogical in 6th place, also on the hard tyres. Uh, number 34. 7th on the medium tyres. He's got Grim all over his back end here on the set of medium tyres. Obviously his tyres are a little bit fresher than Miller's. So I'm assuming he's going to make short work of Miller here and Catalogical. See if I'm uh, up move here. And here we come down to stop in a street. And didn't make it there. So he's got another go shortly. And he's got lots more grip. You can see the amount of the extra grip he's got coming around that corner. He needs to get in front of these to make them tyres work. Oh. And um, these two are reeling in, catalogical in front of that Ferrari. Oh, oh. Sorry, you're on the purple. I guess I'm a bit tired myself. Yeah, a bit of a long week. Uh, Grim. Oh, there's a uh, oh, little bit of touch there. Number two, so I was back there. Miller and uh, Catalogical. Oh, rim all over the back end of the. Oh, it's costing me a little bit of time there. Of course, that means. Uh, Miller is going to have a go here, a catalogical, come down and start the straight, and makes the move. And Miller takes that position. And I think the next one that's going to be passing catalogical is going to be a Grim. So... go back in front of Miller. That was a bit of a, a dicey move there, but he's got through. He made that position back. But I'm sure. Oh then get a bit out of shape there because he caught that inside curb which just wants to knock you flying. Come down and start the straight. There's uh, Miller got a make a move, he's making a move. Close to the inside move. Didn't get it. Pathological. Hold that position. Being defensive. hardest to get past catalogical but he cannot find the space and of course meanwhile Grim is just sitting there biding his time. Oh there's a good chance for here take another go. Come down the start finish to the score the start finish straight where have a go here at Catalogical, this is going to be it, this is where they're all going to make a move, 
And Miller goes to the outside line. Catalogical takes the inside line. But I think Miller has made enough to get. Yeah, Miller gets in front again. Really struggling here boys and girls, these three here fighting 5th, 6th and 7th place and it looks like there we go again, it's going to be DRS open for that Ferrari it's got a straight line speed, obviously because the gearbox is equal and Catalogsville takes that position back off him Gets it out of shape there, gets a bit of the ball of it. In the meantime, Grim just sitting in the background, just waiting for these two to make a mistake. And he's going to pounce like a praying mantis. DRS open and it's going to be a slipstream and makes a move on the inside and that's it and oh oh poor old catalogs have got it all wrong there and it's been passed and uh, Grim managed to make that move was a bit slow in turn one and two so it caught catalogical out and it got into the marbles and as soon as you go into them marbles it's like being on the nice thing you cannot afford to go in the marbles and if you don't know what the marbles are it's little rubber things that fall off the tires as they, they degrade and if you imagine putting marbles all over a road you'd be upside down it'd be sliding everywhere so that's exactly what it's like Formula 1 drivers. As you can see, oh, Grim has just found that out because he went wide there. Getting all them marbles on these tyres. You see less grip. And Grim looks like he's going to have another go here. Change his mind. <coughs> Miller struggling for grip at the moment. Like, uh, of course, uh, Miller's tyres are a little bit older than uh, Grimm's tyres, so understandably, he's going to be struggling for a bit of grip.
got Phelan Grimm's just waiting here. He's just waiting. He's going to have a little go soon. Then coming out of the second DRS zone. DRS open, but I don't think he's going to be in a position to be able to make a move here. Of course, cartilogical all over the back end of Grimm as well. So it's going to be a three way fight here coming down that straight. All with the DRS is open. A bit of a tighter line by Grimm this time, so you're avoiding them uh, marbles. That's what you've got to do. And it seems my co commentator seems to have fallen asleep. I've been left on my toad. Yeah. Not very good. Ah, I'm going to do an Alan Sugar. NTT Silver, you're fired. Right, anyways, carry on here. And Grim trying his damnedest to get past uh, Miller 44 and Catalogical clinging on for the electric. Does that believe that is uh, Mr. Beer and Kebab just in the background? Seems to be young men. Let's have a little look. Yeah, uh, do you believe? Yes, it is. Mr. Beer and his Kebab. In 8th place, he's catching his feet at a battling on the head. Uh, I think we have a back marker ahead, so I could put a mix into it. Oh, here we go. This is looking like the moment that uh, Grim's looking for. together Grim. Uh, here we go, it's a three way line coming down here. None of them making any difference here. Nope, mm, couldn't catch them there. Feeling that these two, these three are gonna. Yeah, that is definitely beer and his kebab. Definitely is catching these three. So I've got a funny feeling it's gonna be a four way fight anytime soon. I haven't seen much of Mr. Beer and his kebab. Uh, he's been quietly just plodding along there in the background, just trying to get, uh, get nice, decent lap after lap times in. And it's paying off because he's caught up with these four. This three, as you see. Oh, Catalogical thinks a bit having to make a move there, but then it's not going to happen. Oh, he seems to have fallen back from Miller 44 as well, Grim. I don't know if he's made a mistake somewhere. He seems to have fallen back a little bit, and it's only give Catalogical a chance. Oh, oh, that was definitely a bad. Bad corner for Grimm. I'm sure the race director is going to probably uh, give him a bit of a penalty for that one. Yes, uh, definitely beer and his kebab catching in the background. So he's going to get into the mix here with these three, these three here battles. Uh, anyway, let's have a little quick look up and down the field. And these three are having a bit of a ding dong. Well, uh, uh, yeah, let's get to the front. I think I believe that would be Mambo. Yes, in first place. Uh, second place is Mr. Penguin, who is currently. Nine seconds behind the leader. Uh, he's got third place, Beast. Beast in third place. Oh, there's a car smoking on the track. There is definitely a car that has a problem on the track. It's definitely a smoking car. It looks like a Williams. Beast is in uh, third place. Hanging on to third place. Well done, Mr. Beast. Oh, look at the smoke coming off the back of this car. 
I'm going to stream that Callum Games. We've got a definite engine blowing there. It is indeed, Callum. Your car is knackered. Son, your car is knackered. Where's my co presenter? Anyway, back here, Grim. Oh, he managed to stay in front, stay in front of the catalog. Catalogical. Where's my trees? Grim. And then it's catalogical. Yeah. Beer and his kebab hanging in there in seven. Miller 44. I don't know if he's made a mistake or if he's made a pit stop, I'm not too sure. But he's got Stig reeling him in. Uh, Poxic is in 10th. Callum Games. Worth is very, very small. Look at that smoke coming off of that car. Does not look very healthy at all, that Williams at the moment. Kick-ass Dragon at 13. Mambo. 10 seconds behind the leader. 19 seconds is Beast in third place. Uh, Rising Trez is in fourth. Uh, Grim in fifth. Oh, beer and kebab, and oh, I have to get more of these. Oh, there's that smoking Callum car dead ahead. There by Catalogsco, it could have cost him a little bit of time there. And he's going to give Beer and Kebab a chance under DRS to make a move. Is he going to make a move? He's down the straight, and it looks like he's going to. Is he going to make a move on the inside? And goes to the inside move, but no, not on this occasion. Oh, it's Stiggy. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's. Uh, I do believe that is. Uh, uh, Chad, Mr. Splinter. Oh, that's smoke. That car. We are trying every can to get past the uh, catalogical. Oh, look at that, Williams. It's going to blow a gasket any second now. How these guys can see anything being stuck behind it, I don't I really don't know. Smoke on the back of that Williams. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sending some more signals there in that Williams.
Well, folks, quite hard work when there's only one commentator because the other one's bucked off. Oh, right, here we go. Here's Beer and Kebab making a move on Catalogical. Can't see nothing because the game decided to take me in a stupid little trick in a game mode. There you go, Beer has made it. He has got past Catalogical. Wide on the exit there, it's gonna be vulnerable. And then it's nah, I didn't think it was gonna make it. Oh, Beer gets it wrong there, and the hairpin. And oh, oh and Catalogical totally loses it. Got in the marbles, and he lost it totally there. That's what happens. I'm sure Beer will be rubbing his hands in. Thank God for that, because it means I don't have to struggle fighting with him. And yep, Catalogical's had enough. He's in the pits. He says I've had enough of them tyres. Uh, let's see, Miller 44. Right, let's see, let's have a look. Let's see what's happening. Oh! Oh, what the hell? Let's have a look. Right, where are we? Let's get to the front. Mambo. Currently our leader. Coming up behind. Oh, I don't know who that is. In front of him. Then you've got Penguin. He's currently 16 seconds behind the leader. Uh, you've got Beast in third place. He's got Rising Treads all over his back end, so we'll stay on board with these two at the moment. Um, I think if anybody's going to make any pit stops, it's going to be round away now with 15 laps. Oh! And Trez gets it totally wrong. Lost it totally. Coming out of the chicane. Unlucky. That's put him out of reach at the moment of... Uh, that was a uh, out of reach of Beast there. Unlucky. Grim is in, he's making his final pit stop. I wonder what tyres he's going to put on. Let's have a stay on board with Grim, see what tyres he's going to put on. I'm going to assume what tyres he's got left. And it's a set of softs, that'll be him to the end of the race. He'll definitely make uh, uh, 14 laps on them. We are aye. not a problem. So that's Grim's last pit stop. Oh, Grim coming out and Catalogical is going to nip in front of him. Of course, Catalogical still got to come in the pits. I do believe, unless he's been in the pits already. It's a distinct possibility. I think Callum Games, I think he should get black flag. His car is dangerous on the track. <laughs> oh, Grim thinking about the inside line. Does he take it? And he's making a move. Oh, jeez. Bit naughty by Catalogical, so I squeezed him there. But I'm sure.
These two having a bit of a ding dong battle, these two at the moment, right? I'm just hoping that Williams isn't dropping oil all over the road, considering the way the engine's going. Oh, Grim thinking about it. Oh, and they've touched again. Callum's catalogical uh, uh, is not giving them space. To honest, I mean, that's driver awareness, really. That's the that's, uh, issue, I'm sure. I'm not happy with that. It was definitely Grim was on the inside. It should give him space. There's a half a car length up his inside there. You can't just come across and shut the door like that. That's just not not cricket. I'm sure Mr. Grim's sitting there seeding in that car thinking. Go on, there we go. Better exit here, has he? Has he got it? Has he got it made? Yeah, he's made it this time. Oh, catalogical. I don't think there's any love loss between these two at the moment. They don't seem to be given much room for error. They're really trying hard, the hardest. Yeah, it looks like that Grim is starting to pull a gap there. Yeah, he's got a gap on him now. Could be outside that, hopefully outside that DRS zone. Yeah, the looks of things. Yeah, it's a good. Uh, yeah, definitely too far back to make a move now. Oh, he's got a DRS though, but it's too far back to make it anything. Right. Beer and his kebab in front of him. That's his teammate. Sixth place. Let's have a quick run, run down the field. Let's get back to the front there. Uh, Penguin in second still. Mambo is in first still. Uh, Penguin second. Uh, he's currently 18 seconds behind the leader. Fez is in third. I don't know if there's got anybody there. Well, how did he have DRS? Oh, that's because why. Beast has been in and made a tire change. Uh, he's made a tire change. comes out and it's going to be, I think that's a billion of the, uh, it looks like these two teammates are going to have another battle again. And that smoke and Williams is creating havoc with that smoke. Callum Games has uh, decided to retire that Williams, which is probably a good idea. But it's knackered. Oh, 
rim and beard getting a whole lot of shape there. But I think Grimm's going to have a move here done. He's got a DRS on his teammate. I'm sure he's going to make a move. Come down the start finish straight. Goes to the inside line. And Beard says, yeah, I'll give you that. Not a lot you could do about that. Drop, drops him down to 7th place. Carry on with their Beard's gonna give a no, no, he's not gonna let Grim off lightly, he's gonna keep on his case. He's not gonna give it in lightly. Of course he's getting that uh, making uh, Grim's making that big hole in the air for that uh, other Red Bull to follow in. Grim gets it wide, hits the marbles. Let's be in the inside. Oh, but Grim's come, trying to come back at him. What a battle between these two teammates. Kebab takes his sixth place back. Shape as well. I think Grim's gonna have the DRS coming down to start finish straight. Here we go, down to start finish straight again. Because Grim's gonna have the This occasion for Grim to do anything about it there.
get to that shit. Come on, you saw this beer. Both the Red Bulls are making mistakes here. Yeah. Let's have a little run down the field to see what's happening. Mambo, current leader. Seems to have uh, five laps to go, it seems to have this in the bag. We've got Penguin in second. And Beast is currently in third place. He's secured there with that one. Followed by Rising Trace in fourth. Miller 44 is in 5th. Of course, the ongoing battle between Grimm and Beer for 6th and 7th place. Grimm's all over the back of his teammate again. Yeah. Is that my co commentator decided to come back after having a holiday? Hello? Silver? Hello? Hello. Oh, eventually, and, uh, my fucking cool commentator decides to come back now and contribute. Oh, don't even ask, mate. I didn't even know my headset were working. I've sat here talking yeah. and I've not had a think. Yeah. Yeah, I've been sat there talking at all. You've been off doing whatever you've been doing, leaving me to fucking commentate on my bloody own. Mate, I have no idea. How many laps have I been gone for? Well, let's place we've only got five laps left. Four now. Oh, I have no idea. I was on the phone. Came off the You've phone. You've been gone for about 30 bloody laps, son. I know. I was on the phone. Came off the phone. Went to the oh. loo. Came back. Beer and Kebab and Grim are having a right tussle here. Oh, I've noticed. Beer doing everything he can to fend off his teammate. Four laps to go. No, oh, I'd be in third. Penguins in second. Yeah. Trez, our current leader in the championship, is in fourth. Anyone have any massive crashes in the that while I was gone? No, no, no. Uh, the Williams that was smoking really badly decided to retire. Of Colin Bruce. That's the second time that's happened to him. Yeah, he's, uh, he must be doing the gears wrong. He must be using manual gears and just revving it too high. Right. Uh, in a moment. Oh, here we go again. Um, it's not close enough to make it. A shot on the on his teammate at the moment. What is that in front of him? Oh, it's Miller 44. Oh, Miller 44. So he could lose his fifth place here. Mm. He could he could potentially lose two places here if these two can manage to get there. Uh, they're act together and they're reeling them in slowly but surely for quite a while now. Jesus, no, I've been gone a long time, didn't we? We've done that long. No, oh, you've been gone for ages, my friend. This is what happens when you're not I've not even had a chance to make a cup of tea or nothing. <laughs> Sorry, pal, this is what happens when I end up having to do oh, stuff at work. Could Grim make a move here? He's close enough there to the back end of his teammate. Nope, he's still not close enough because they've both got a DLS. Oh, there's some lag there. Uh, Stick left session. 
Bridge left the session. Oh, he's disconnected again. Hopefully he can jump back in. Oh, here we go. Miller 44 is about to be taken. And yes, Grimm took his, uh, his uh, face off him. Oh, oh sideways there from here. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I thought you said Groom was in fifth. Uh, no, Beer's in fifth. Groom's in seventh. Beer's got past it, yeah, so... Oh! And then just had a moment, he's lost it. Not like him. That Grim looks like he's... Uh, Gonna settle for uh, second place. I don't think he's gonna be able to catch these two in the two laps. Right, we get to the front runner because we're getting close to the end of the race. And Lambo. Yeah, he's about to start his final lap. Yeah, he's on his final lap now. Lambo, Penguin, second place. Beast is gonna only get the last podium position, but it's a bit. Rising Trez is in 4th And we've got Beer and Kebab Trying to avoid Splinter, who's a ghost And then we've got Miller 44 in 6th Grim in 7th Pathological is in 8th Stig is nowhere to be seen 10th is Poxic Mad at him. Oh, yep, here we go, Mambo's coming through, giving him the third, second, uh, third sector. Yeah, and then come across the line, victorious here in uh, Spain in the round five in the Dynamic Racing League. Uh, can I can also find out how the results are in DynamicRacingLeague.com website. Oh, you can watch on there YouTube. There we go. Yeah, you can watch on YouTube. Or oh, Twitch, whichever. And there he goes. Crosses the line. Well done to Mambo. Well done, Mambo. Race winner. Even though I've apparently missed half the race somewhere. Well done, mate. Yes. <laughs> yes, half a commentator. <laughs> and Penguin's going to take second place. Well, he is uh, Arthur commentator. My defence, I was probably out up at work for you using Rose and Shine this morning. I wonder what happened to Steve then. Rose takes fourth. Maybe uh, take a screenshot of the results as well. Again. Yep, I will do. Make sure you take it at the bottom half of the screen as well because uh, I don't think it shows it on the DSQs and everything else. Beer and Kebab is going to roll in. Six, six, seven, eight, and that's logical. And obviously we'll have the interviews after the race, so hang around, folks. Not over yet. Yeah, I'm feeling what the, the drivers thought of the race and how they thought it went for them. There we go. There we go. Mambo first, Penguin second, Beast third, Trez fourth, Miller fifth, Beer and Kebab managed to grab sixth, Grim seventh, Catalogical eighth, Stig is ninth, Poxic is tenth. Those are quite a few time penalties there going on that board. There we go. I've got a screenshot at the top and the bottom of the table. Excellent. Excellent. 
If you want to send that to Beer and Kebab, he'll be doing posting that all the times and stuff on the board. Well done to them. Fantastic racing. Excellent. Very good. Uh, we'll just wait for it. We'll get through and we'll get a uh, we'll invite Mambo. Um, penguin and beast. Beastie. Uh, yeah, Mambo, Penguin and Beast. There's Penguin. Just wait for Mambo and Beast now. 